Progeria, also known as hutchinson gilford progeria syndrome, is an extremely rare and fatal genetic disease that affects children by rapidly speeding up the aging process. Some people may be familiar with this genetic disease from the movie Jack, which is an inaccurate portrayal of progeria. Although appearing healthy on the outside at birth, children with progeria begin to display many characteristics of accelerated aging around the age of 18 to 24 months. Symptoms of progeria include growth failure, loss of body fat and hair, aged looking skin, stiffness of joints, hip dislocation, generalized atherosclerosis, cardiovascular disease, and stroke. The children have a remarkably similar appearance despite their sex and race. Children with progeria usually die from heart disease around the age of 13 but can live to be anywhere from 8 to 21. Currently, there are only 42 reported cases of progeria in the world occurring in 20 different countries. Progeria affects 1 in 48 million newborns, and the chance of getting progeria is like randomly picking one word out of a stack of 24 to 48 dictionaries. Progeria is caused by a point mutation in the LMNA gene on chromosome 1. Progeria is a dominant disease and is not inherited and caused by a random mutation prior to conception. Progeria patients die at the average age of 13, and there have been no reported cases of patients producing offspring. There is no research showing that progeria is more common in a certain geographical location or a certain environment. Progeria affects both sexes equally in all races. The LMNA gene normally makes a healthy lamin A protein. The normal function of this protein holds the nucleus of the cell together, which is necessary for a stable cell to form. The protein keeps everything inside the nucleus intact. When the gene is mutated, the lamin A protein produces Produce causes the cell's nucleus to become unstable, which is what researchers believe is the cause of rapid aging in progeria patients. The now unhealthy protein produced accumulates in blood vessel cells, which hinders the cell's growth and production and can also kill the cells. The main organ affected by the protein alteration is the heart, but in recent studies it has also been found that this alteration is also a direct cause of dead blood vessel cells and smooth muscles. These alterations are what causes the children to age so rapidly and is also the primary cause of heart disease around the age of 13. A patient with progeria does not have a typical life by any means. Progeria patients are very young but age rapidly, making it difficult to attend school and to do normal childhood activities with kids their age. A progeria patient is constantly in and out of the hospital, making it difficult on family members who have to accept the fact that their child is going to die at a very early age. The best thing a family can do for a progeria patient is make sure that he or she lives the most comfortable life as possible and knows what lies ahead. Tests are usually done to diagnose the disease when the child shows symptoms of progeria such as stunted growth, loss of hair, old looking skin, stiffness of joints, and other notable signs. Also doctors look at medical records, x-rays, and run blood tests. A better alternative to the simple clinical diagnosis, which shows many faulty results, is that the child may have their DNA sequenced since the point mutation is now known. This genetic test has aided in earlier diagnosis of progeria. Currently, there is no cure for progeria. However, since scientists have identified the gene that causes it, a cure may be on the way. A wide variety of treatments are available to manage the lifestyle that this disease has caused them, such as hydrotherapy in a pool, vitamins, taking dosages of aspirin, and other medications. Although the treatments available do not cure progeria or stunt the aging process, the treatments can help with pains, reduce the risk of heart disease, and other cardiovascular risks. Although there is no cure for progeria, scientists have just recently been able to isolate and find the gene that causes this disease, which is a big step in trying to find a cure for this disorder.